There's the closing bell on Wall Street. Now it is market domination overtime. We're joined by Jared Blickery to get you up to speed on the action from today's session. Let's start with where the major averages ended the day, not too far from where they were about an hour ago when we checked them here. We've got the Dow lower by about 53 points, about a tenth of 1% here. Uh, we have the S&P 500, very little change to the upside, but any gain today means another record close for the S&P 500. Uh, that also means it's its 36 record close, 36 record close of the year. The Nasdaq also finishing higher on the day by about a tenth of 1%. Part of what propelled stocks, well, not propelled exactly, but allowed them to rise, I guess, is the fact that uh, Fed Chair Jay Powell testified before the Senate Banking Committee and did not offer any commentary that dramatically changes what is the current market view that we could get to interest rate cuts the, uh, still this year, beginning in September. So all of that uh, allowing stocks to kind of drift here. Um, if we take a look within the market internals here and what we saw on the day, let's uh, take a look first of all at the sectors here. We did see a drop in materials related shares here. Albemarle, which we talked about earlier, the lithium producer, getting um, some negative analyst commentary around lithium pricing. That's one of the things that weighed on that group. Energy stocks also lower financials here, as well as health healthcare uh, trading higher. And I like to keep checking on the NASDAQ here and on the majors, uh, the mega cap tech, because we keep talking so much about what has been going on and how much these have been lending. One I didn't mention earlier is Tesla. Now, as we talked about, there's some new data out from Cox Automotive that shows U.S. market share in electric vehicles below 50% with Tesla for the first time. However, the stock remains on a winning streak, and I believe we're looking at nine straight days of gains here. Might even be 10 straight days of gains, but you see, this has been quite a run in the stock. It's up about 44% in that point, uh, point in time, and it also means that Tesla over the past couple of days has now flipped back into the green for the year-to-date. So this year-to-date return now looks like it's about 5.5%.